And with that, what I'd like to do is read a proclamation uh, given by our governor. Here's the proclamation right here. And uh, just bear with me for a few minutes while I read it. Only so many ads. Okay, proclamation by the governor of the state of California. Winemaking in California dates back to the 18th century, when Spanish missionaries introduced to our shores a product that is central to Catholic ceremony and Mediterranean cultural traditions. From these beginnings, wine has become one of our most important agricultural commodities and one of many product categories in which California's industry is an undisputed leader. Today, we acknowledge the great contributions of Charles Krug and the Peter Mondavi family in making this part of the California dream a reality. Charles Krug built the first winery in Napa Valley, launching a regional industry that has become famous to connoisseurs worldwide and synonymous with innovative winemaking. Krug was responsible for one of the modern wine industry's first great technological advances when he adopted a cider press for winemaking in 1858. In the 20th century, Peter Mondavi Sr. continued the tradition of innovation that began with Krug. Mondavi championed cold fermentation and cold stabilization, industry innovations that are often taken for granted today but whose historical impact on the Napa wine business has been enormous. In 1943, the Mondavi family acquired Krug's original winery, which they continue to operate to this day. This year, we join them in celebrating the 150th anniversary of Charles Krug, the first winery in Napa Valley. It goes on to say, now therefore, Edmund G. Brown, Jr., Governor of the State of California, do hereby proclaim September 10th, 2011, Charles Krug Winery Day, in honor of the Peter Mondavi family. I urge all citizens, I urge all citizens to join me in the celebration thereof and to take this opportunity to reflect upon the history of Charles Krug Winery and the Peter Mondavi family. We will have this proclamation on display inside the carriage house on, on the lower level here. Um, and I'm pleased today that, that we do have fourth generation uh, coming into the folds of the business. Mark will elaborate a little bit on that in a few minutes. And I invite you to go upstairs in the carriage house, if you haven't been there yet. In one corner, we do have Charles Krug's original cider press from 1858 on display up there. That was referenced in Governor Brown's proclamation. And those who haven't discovered it yet, also on the second floor in the, in the uh, carriage house, uh, we have a rare library tasting of two vintages. We have a 1966 vintage select Cabernet. This is a 45-year-old Cabernet and a 1986 vintage select Cabernet. I did have the opportunity earlier this week to taste both of those wines back in New York City uh, with both Eric Asimov of the New York Times as well as four of the wine specialists from Sotheby's uh, auction house. And they were just stunned at both the 66, I think that was a standout of the whole lot of wines we tasted, about 19, and the 86 is very impressive, reminding them of a fabulous Medoc uh, wine. So two fabulous wines to try up there and encourage that. With that, I'd like to invite my father to, to come up and say a few words uh, on the history of the, of the family 